Hi! This is the third of a series of short YouTube segments that the International Biochar Initiative, or IBI, has prepared to provide basic information about biochar. My name is Julie Major and I am the Agricultural Extension Director for the IBI. In this segment, we will review the agronomic benefits of applying biochar to soils, including improving soil fertility, quality, and crop yields, as well as environmental benefits, including carbon sequestration in soil, reduced pollution from agricultural land, and reduced emissions of greenhouse gases by soils. Up to now, most data on the effects of biochar on crop yields have come from work on very infertile soils in the tropics. Improvements from biochar application are often largest in these soils. Positive yield improvements have also been observed on more fertile soils, although neutral and negative results have also been observed on a few occasions. This underscores the importance of understanding how biochar works in soil. It is important to realize that not all biochars are safe and effective amendments for a given soil, and it is necessary to properly analyze and test any biochar material before applying it to field soil. This picture is a visual example of improved crop growth with biochar use, where plant height increases with increasing biochar application rate in Colombia. The only difference between the plots are the different biochar application rates. Here we can see a larger root system of a plant grown with biochar by a farmer in Cameroon and greener plants when biochar was applied in Canada. Again, what are shown here are the effects of the presence or absence of biochar. All other elements, including fertilization, were the same. Biochar is not strictly a fertilizer, but rather a beneficial soil amendment. Biochar can help increase crop yields by helping soils deliver nutrients to plants. In certain cases, it can also improve the physical properties of the soil, for example, the moisture providing ability of soil. Greater fertilizer use efficiency is also possible with biochar soil management. In other words, Higher yields can be achieved with a given amount of fertilizer, or a given yield level can be maintained using less fertilizer when biochar is used. Importantly, due to its stability in soil, the beneficial effects persist on the long term and some likely improve over the years. One of the most studied environmental benefits of applying biochar to soil is the fact that it can sequester carbon in the soil. The carbon in biochar was taken out of the atmosphere by growing plants. When the plant parts are pyrolyzed and biochar is produced and applied to the soil, part of the carbon is very stable and remains in the soil and out of the atmosphere for very long periods. When fertilizers leach or run off from agricultural or residential land into waterways, they can disrupt the balance of aquatic ecosystems. A striking example of the effect of fertilizer losses from agricultural land is the dead zone in the Gulf of Mexico shown here in red. Biochar can hold on to nutrients and some chemicals in soil and prevent them from ending up in waterways. 
Soils emit greenhouse gases under specific conditions. Adding biochar to soil has the potential to reduce emissions of nitrous oxide and methane, which are two potent greenhouse gases. The IBI has many educational materials available on our website for free. On the publications page of our website, you can find fact sheets about biochar use in soil and environmental benefits of biochar, research summaries covering the most up-to-date science about a variety of biochar-related topics, including crop yield improvement, guides including information on testing biochar in soil, white papers covering several aspects of biochar in depth, and technical bulletins on practical aspects of working with biochar.